So today you guys I'm doing a review on a product. This is my second time trying to do this video. Um it's on the Rimmel London Long Finishing Um Blendable Powder and Powder Blush and Highlighter. Um I seen another person on YouTube with this one. I think it was Emily Noel 83. She had the other one. There's only two of these blush and highlighters, which I wish they had another one. Um they supposed to be long finishing natural sheer finishes and I'm going to show you the colors that they have. I already swatched them for you. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is the packaging that it comes in. This is very like very great packaging. It's not too bulky. It's not really um, too big or awkward to put in your collection. So these are the colors. It's a pink. It's a medium like a pearlesque like purple it's like a fusion of both of these colors but it's kind of like very very like let me swatch it like that's it it's very very perfect um this is my first blush for room in london i don't know what the other blushes look like i had some of their eyeshadows but they discontinued the three quads there were a lot of people who said they didn't like them but i did um they are a little bit powdery after you use them and take a brush and swirl them you do get a lot of excess um powder everywhere they do blend together as you um use them not to the point where it's bad but it's easy to pick up the highlighter in the middle because of how close they are together um i think this is like four or five dollars um it might be three something i think it ranges from three to five dollars depending on where you get it from um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the colors real quick this is the highlighter right here this is the highlight color as you see it's very 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 like very 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 chalky somewhat it um it is so i'm going to apply a little bit more so you can see it because i don't think i put enough on my hand so that's the highlight color it does show up on me it does show up on my skin color then this is the pink it's not as um, pink as you probably would think it is. It's more of a um, it's a little bit dark pink. It's not as like Barbara Down pink in my personal piece. Kind of got like a little bit of uh, purple in it. Next is a purple color. That's there. It is right there. So the first thing I want to say, like I said, I didn't think this was going to show up on me. Because of my skin color sometimes they make blushes that are not pigment enough to show up on us and you put it on and it's like you could have just used it for eyeshadow but these colors showed up they lasted a very long time and I had got just during Christmas time and I was um, very much into purples and um, plum colors and and and, and stuff for my I purple eyeshadows and then plum cheeks. I was very much into that, and this shocked me. I the shirt, the color showed up. They looked nice on me. They did. They they did last a long time, and they were very natural looking. They weren't too much. Um, the highlighter color, I like it. It does have a little bit of sparkly shimmerness to it, but it's a very natural looking um, highlighter. And I don't use highlighters like that. I don't highlight my face. But when I was uh, blending the purple together with it and I added it together to, you know, get a very nice look. It looked very nice with the purple. I also had it with the pink. It looks very nice with the pink. These blend a little too well because they do get a little chalky and they do get a little everywhere on the, on like the side. And if you can get a little on your hand as you blended it, it does not have a lot of fallout. Um... It doesn't get all over your cheeks. It just gets in the areas. But it does become a little chalky. So, um, I don't really have anything negative to say about this. It is for a good, great price. The only thing I've noticed now is that they don't sell these at Walmart on the Rimmel stand. Rimmel stand. You have to think Target and Ulta is the only other places I've seen that you can go buy it at. So, if you run out of this, you will have to go to another makeup store to get it which I think it was kind of odd um I was kind of upset about that um so 
I would say that this is something that I would advise all my women of color to go get. I would go get the other one. I just don't like the really bright colors right now. I'm just really into pinks and highlighters right now. So um, I think this is great for the spring, summer, fall, winter. This to me is a very versatile palette. Um, that's it for my review for this. Is there any questions you have, please leave them in the comment below. If you tried this product, please let me know. Especially the other ones because there are four other ones that just come just blank shades. Like, I think it's a pink, a purple, and a few other shades. If you try the other ones, let me know. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And like this video.